I am Sofia. In today's UbiDocs user guide, we will learn how to create a dashboard according to your application needs. So now, let's begin. To begin, you sign in into your UbiDocs account. As you can see, I already have a dashboard that shows different widgets. In this case that you need to create a new dashboard, please slide to the left and click on the four squares that that's the dashboard icon. There you can find all the dashboards that you have created before, also the templates that you have. And when you want to create a new dashboard, you click on the plus sign and then you put the name that you need on the dashboard. After you put the name, you click on it and then you will be directed to the dashboard you just created. Now that you have your dashboard, you're going to start adding widgets. For that, you slide the right and click on the plus sign. Then you will see a window that shows you all the different widgets we have. We have charts in case you want to compare information. We have the pie, metrics, maps in case you want to track your device, table, indicators, controls for the different devices. And also we have the HTML canvas in case you want to be an artist and create any other type of visualization. In this case, I'm going for charts since I want to compare two variables. In charts, when you click on them, you can find the line charts, double X's, scatter plot, histogram, and bars. Since I'm comparing two different variables, I'm going with line charts. After clicking on line charts, you click on add variables, and then you will find the devices. I have a device that is the weather station I have outside my office, and I'm gonna use it for this. The variable that I'm gonna choose is viewpoint, so I click on it, and then I just click on add variable. Then I click on add variable again, and I will choose my second variable, which will be temperature. Now click on finish, and you can see how your widget is gonna show your information. You can also make it bigger in case you need to visualize the data differently, and you can move it around your dashboard. Now that we have our first widget, let's see what we can do with it. So in our toolbar, you can find a calendar. When you click on it, you will find a drop-down menu where you can select the time range you want to see information from. Let's say for today, this week. One of our best features is the zoom functionality, where you can choose where the data is going to be shown. So you want to select July 10th, and then we are going to see data until July 11th. The second icon on the toolbar will be to export data or to download the data. Click what type of data you want to download and then you just will click on export. The third one is the pencil where you can edit the variables you're going to measure. In this case, we're going to add another variable, which will be temperature. Then you click on finish and now you're gonna see how it changed. Then the fourth one, it's an arrow where you can share the widget with different people. So first you can copy the link that you find there and you can send it to anyone. And also you can embed the widget so you can show it in different websites or in any blog, anywhere you need it. Then we also have this pocket. When you click on it, you're gonna find different information that you can change. So you can change the y-axis information, the uh, y-axis maximum, also the graph style. And then you can change the information that you're gonna see. So let's say we want minutes. And it is really important that you understand that if you have information that has more than 500 data points, we're not gonna be able to show it, so we're gonna show the average of it. Also, if you need to change the colors in order for them to be according to your brand, you just click on it and then select the color you wanna choose. And then finally, we have the last icon that is to delete the widget in case you need it. Now that we have deleted the first widget, let's move back to my first dashboard. Here, we're gonna see how the dashboard toolbar works. 
So the first icon, that it's an arrow, work the same that sharing a widget. You can copy the link in case you want your friends to see the dashboard, or you can also embed the dashboard to any website you need it to be. The second icon, which is a lock, when it is open, you can move the widgets around and organize the dashboard as you need your information to be shown. But when you lock it or click on it so it can lock, when you try to move things, they're not gonna move. Then the third icon, which is a user tree, when you click on it, you're gonna find the different customers you have or the different organizations you have. And when you click on the organizations, you're gonna show or share the dashboard with the people that belong to that organization. Then we also have the duplicate dashboard icon. This icon will allow you to duplicate the dashboard in case you need the same dashboard, but with a different device. In this case, let's create one. Let's choose the device we want to do, the variables, and then duplicate the dashboard. Here we can see our new dashboard. In this case, let's continue reviewing the toolbar with the new dashboard. Now we have to create a template that is this icon. In here, when you click on it, you're going to be able to create templates with the same dashboard. You need this in case you have a lot of devices that need the same template. So let's create a template. Let's say it's going to use the same device in this case and a finish. It is important that you remember that when you go to the dashboard window, you can see the templates you have. So in this case, we have the new template, but we're gonna just keep working in the first dashboard that we copied. And then the last icon that it's a screen, when you click on it, you will see the different resolutions we have. So you can see how people is gonna see the dashboard in other devices. Let's go back to automatic and you will see the dashboard as it was before. I hope you found this video useful. If you want to learn more tips and tricks about UbiDots, please subscribe to our channel. Bye, see you later.